Hello, welcome to Ghost Army Views. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Generation Selects Galvatron. Now, this figure was just released, and he is a Generation Select, so he's a recolor of the original purple Galvatron. He is done up in his Generation 1 colors from the toy. Also, it pays homage to the comics with this green matrix here. And it also pays homage to the 2001 reissue of the, in Japan, where he, the toy came with a green matrix. Now it's called the Creation Matrix. Now, before we get into a little bit of history on this, I want you to look right down there and hit that like button, hit the thumbs down vote button if you have to. I'd really prefer you looking at that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment. I love comments. So getting into why he's these colors, it's pretty simple actually. Early in the production process, in generation one, they had Galvatron. They knew that his character design, but they had colored him yet for the movie. And they're like, they settled on this color. So they went into this color. They went into production with the Generation 1 figure, and he came out these colors. And then after those have already started being produced, they changed the color in the film. So that's why he's purple. And now when I was you know, a kid, I got the original Generation 1. I'm like, he's not all purple. I love the figure nonetheless. I still love Galvatron. I love Transformers, but he's not purple. And you know, they've done that with, with uh, Ultra Magnus too. Ultra Magnus, if you look at an early production uh, trailer for the movie, Ultra Magnus was done with the Powered Convoy colors. Wouldn't have that been cool? I love those colors. I still don't have a Powered Convoy. But I digress. This is just a repaint of the original Purple One leader class that we, that we got a few months ago. If you haven't seen the video on it, go ahead and check my video out on that. And without any further ado, let's get to the review. I'm getting into the box. It's just your standard Generation Select box, albeit a little bigger. The Autobot logo is still there, which is kind of irritating. You'd think they would at least have an Autobot Decepticon. They would have thought about ahead of time. Uh, Galvatron, War for Cybertron, GS27. Inside the box is where you'd find this cardboard piece. And I've already taken out the figure, obviously. The guns are still in there. You take out the cardboard piece, you get an instruction booklet. And then inside the instruction booklet, when you open it up, it shows stickers. And keep opening, it's a big poster size, right? Which we all know the transformation. And open it up, what falls out is the sticker sheet. This is a very cool sticker sheet. It's done, it's these foil stickers that are very, very shiny and reflective. It was, I love this. I absolutely love the Throwback Transformers logo at the top. I think that's very cool. It almost looks like a G1 sheet, which is awesome. And it includes this, a, a severed uni, Unicron head sticker, which actually doesn't go on. It's not numbered. does not go on the figure at all, but it's a nice little included, you know, extra. I, it's very cool. It's the knee stickers, Decepticon logos. Very, very, very cool sticker set. What's interesting though, is this isn't marked. This is the belt piece, but it's not marked. And it's not even marked in the instructions where the stickers go. So if you look, it's, it's not, it doesn't even show up on the sheet in the instructions. So that is something a little different. If you are looking for those stickers and where they go, uh, they do go on his belt. So there's actually extra added stickers here than they actually put on here. And I think that was an afterthought. One of the things I first noticed that he didn't have the same color belt. And I think they added these stickers to alleviate that. But those are, that's his buckle. And those go on, those two little tiny ones go on the side of his belt. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply these. I think they look fantastic. I love the throwback sticker sheet. It's kind of its own nostalgia tick for me. As of the stickers, I don't think it's enough for me to get two of them. But this is cool. Also in the box, as you saw when I opened it, are his, his weapons. Now these are the same exact weapons that are, were done in gray, silver before, now are done in black to homage to the original Galvatron's handheld weapon. You get the barrel piece, which is not focusing. There we go. And you see it's these little sparkles in it, and it's kind of a, like a deeper orange or a brighter orange than the, than the original. I like this color orange. Uh, this is cool. I like the sparkles. And of course you get this, this piece here, which is painted purple and you see it's cast in gray. So it actually has full paint on it, which is really nice. And of course you put it together to make the, the full cannon. He comes with a green version of the matrix. It's the creation matrix. 
on the same exact chain as the other one, same color and everything. And here he is armed up with all of his accessories on. And as you could tell, he is exactly just a repaint of the purple version leader class that we got. He doesn't, he does nothing different except for looks. He's his own gimmick. It is, it's still a very cool design. And I was on the fence of even getting this just because I'm like, well, I already have the Galvatron, but I loved that Galvatron so much that I decided to actually purchase this. Um, I, every time I look at this, I go back and forth whether I should put the stickers on it because the Generation 1 is very awesome. Uh, let's uh, get into comparisons because I, we already know what this guy looks like. We already know how he transforms. We already know his, his posability. It's all exactly the same. And if you don't know, please go take a look at my other video on Galvatron that I posted up a little while ago. Now, before we get into comparisons, I will want to say one thing. The joints are really good on this guy, so you could move his arms well, but this one does not. This one comes apart every time. It does not sit in there well, which still poses fine, but that is, that's annoying. I think everything else is all right. The shoulders are actually correctly assembled, as so they're higher up and not lower like on the other one, which, speaking of, here he is with the original 86 movie colored version. As you can see, the shoulders do sit a little lower on this one because it is Mrs. This is this mine is Mrs. Simmel. I have not done the fix to him yet. I don't know if I'm going to, but so you can see where all the, the color differences are here between the original and the toy color version or the comic color version, if you will. And it, it, it looks pretty good. I mean, the color breakup's really nice. I like how they did this. So let's actually bring in what this guy's homaging. And here he is next to the original Generation 1 Galvatron. So you could really get a little... Now this is the actual original. This is not a reissue. That's why I don't have the chain. I don't have that original... Re I don't have the reissue. But it's, some of the stickers are misapplied. Like there's no stickers here. I think there are uh, on the outside. They were supposed to be here. They're not there. It's just the way I got this. I got this. This is not my original from when I was a kid. That one's long gone, unfortunately. But this is so you can just get a little idea of just how they you know, put the colors on this one to, to homage this one. See, the belt is gold and this orange color. Um, this one would, is done by those stickers that I that I mentioned. There's also chrome stickers for this, but there's also, they also painted the, the stomach, so that's not too bad for the abs. He does have this piece here to be all red, and they do that in, in there, and they also has the chrome piece that goes here, it goes here, but I don't know if I want to put that on just because it would rub against the piece when he transforms. All these little things. This is just a very cool that they did this. Let's turn these guys to the side so you can see, you know, this. This is really cool. Definitely an except, ex, you know, exceptional uh, recolor. And they look they look the same. Like, this is cool. Like, I dig this so much. I'm glad I picked this up. I really am. I mean, if you look, so let's get any close here. Getting close at the two. You can see the two barrels. Now this one is lighter orange than this one, but they both have the sparkles. Of course, this has a lot more sparkles, but very cool. I'm glad they actually added those sparkles. Just those little details like that, that kind of really sell the figure, that sell it really nice. Including the paintwork here and the, with, the, with the wheels, which are similar to the stickers on the back here. I think that's a very cool detail to add in there. Uh, you know, it's a good, it's good recolor. I do wish these were chrome, but enough rambling. I, I, I adore this. And I guess that is quite evident. The only thing it does not have, annoying sounds. Let's get in just a little, real close up at this guy. Cause get in, look at the face, which is gray and the purple brow. And there's actually a sticker to replace this logo if you'd want to and get all the way down here and around in the back and the side just kind of so 
so you can see him real close up before we get into his transformed mode. Here he is transformed into his vehicle <laughs> cannon mode. Now I do have this down. I do like to put this a little different, but I'm doing this just for a, an official transform aid. I do like putting this down so he's angled a little up. With, this is with no accessories and look what shows up. Now this surprised me. This is cool. This is a working rub sign. This is an incredible throwback. Ah, just delighted to see a working rub sign. That is so freaking rad. He really, and this just really looks screams, screams G1. I think I might even keep him like this on my shelf just because he looks so good like this. Maybe I'll put the sticker detail here on the leg so it mimics the G1 a little bit more than this. This is, but this, this looks great. This looks really good. Now you can actually put his accessories all on here like the, uh, the, the, the normal release. Just slide this over the barrel. Attach this, right? Let's peg that into the chest. I can get that in there. And attach the two guns. to either side. I always have trouble doing this on camera. There we go. And there he is. Really cool. Now what I like, so you can do that. That's kind of the way I like him. I think he looks fantastic. I think he looks just fantastic like this. So let's get uh, some comparisons. And here is the previous leader class Galvatron to compare. You can see the barrels are different colored. This is a much darker orange. This is a much brighter orange. There's how they look together. The color breakup. This definitely looks, just screams 80s colors to me. Just screams 80s. Uh, that's, and that's how they compare. Here is the original Generation 1. You see how they compare? It's much smaller. Let's put them up a little bit like this. And I didn't take the accessories off. There we go. So now we get an accurate comparison here. Size comparison. Of course, this one's a little further back. But it is much, much larger. But you got the silver on here. Uh, this here sticker actually it comes with. It comes with this detail stickers on the side. The same. I guess it's covering it now. Both have they both have the rub sign in the same spot of this little, I don't know what to call it here. I think I think it's an excellent, this is an excellent homage. It has stickers here. This will have stickers on it, or if I put them on. It's very cool. I think that's an, it's an excellent representation of, of this version of him. He is very, very cool. One thing I do want to mention, I noticed as I transformed this, just as a note, the belt actually goes in here and snaps this piece in place. So those stickers on that belt, as soon as you put them on, I'd be afraid of it just crunching those stickers and ripping them right off that belt piece the first time you transform it. So if you do put those stickers on his belt, I would be advised not to transform it. Or at least be very, very careful. Like I said, I haven't tried it, but that's what I would think would happen. So let's get some final thoughts. Yeah, so he's just a repaint. He's a cool repaint. Um, I don't know if I could recommend you getting him or not because you're double dipping on Galvatron. They do have the shoulder fix. The shoulders are not upside down. The, like they were in some of the original ones, like on mine, actually. He looks great. I absolutely love this barrel. The orange is just beautiful. It pops. It has that 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 sparkles, the sparkles in it from the original, like the original does. It's really cool. I love the little homages. It has stickers that I haven't put on yet. I don't know if I'm going to. This problem bothers me. Doesn't do it on this side. 
Um, so I guess your mileage may vary on that. Otherwise, all the joints are pretty good. No real mold degradation that I could see. If you see it uh, online, it's not going to be in stores. If you see it in on online and you want another Galvatron, pick it up. I'm going to keep this guy in alt mode so you can see that rub sign. He looks very G1 like that. Absolutely adore it. That's how I'm going to display it on my shelf. So if you get one for your shelf, just enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys back for another review fairly soon.